are some made up traffic court data. Uh, for starters, let me just clean things up a little bit here. I'm going to stretch the columns out a little bit and also um, use um, uh, freeze panes to keep the, uh, the, the top row, the header row, visible while we scroll up and down through the data. All right, we have three columns of data here. Uh, the first column, column A, indicates the gender of the person to whom the ticket was issued, the driver. And uh, uh, that's either male or female. In column B, we have the name of, of either of the two judges who, who hear cases in this traffic court, Judge Robinson and Judge Carson. And in column C, we have the status of the ticket. Either the ticket was not dismissed or the ticket was dismissed. Now imagine with me, if you will, that the rumor around town is that men get a better break in traffic court than women do. Uh, specifically, the rumor is that men are more likely to have their ticket dismissed than women are particularly men who have their case heard by one of the two judges, Judge Robinson in particular. To check that rumor out, you go to the traffic court, you compile this data, and uh, get it into a spreadsheet, and you could use a, a pivot table to, anal to analyze it and see if there's anything to that rumor. To begin the process, click the Insert tab, and over here on the Pivot Table drop-down menu, choose Pivot Table, just like that. The uh, Create Pivot Table dialog box opens up. Notice that Excel will try to guess which range of data you're going to work with. If it guesses incorrectly, just highlight the range, delete it, and then use your mouse to manually um, highlight what you want to work with. I'm uh, highlighting columns A, B, and C here down to row 457. Next I'm going to choose Existing Worksheet and then click in the location box and then scroll up a little bit and pick a cell here close to the data that I'm working with and uh, that's where Excel is going to put the results of, of what we do. So I click OK and uh, I get this dialog box. Now notice that in this box we have each of the three column headings from the data set, gender, judge, and ticket status. And uh, what you need to think about here is which of these variables causes which other variable. The rumor is that uh, uh, your gender determines whether your ticket is going to get dismissed or not, so your gender causes your ticket status. Another way to think about it is gender is the cause and ticket status is the result. Now if you can think about that, then you can have a, a good way to remember how to fill this box out. Causes go in the column labels box. See cause and column label both start with C. Results go in the row labels box because results and row labels both start with R. Um, also, whatever you put in the row labels box, you need to put in the values box right next to it. So our cause is going to go in the column labels box, and our result is going to go in the row labels box as well as the value labels box. To get them in there, you just click and drag, uh, just like that. Uh, gender goes in the column labels box, ticket status goes in the row labels box, and also in the values box right there. And notice as we were doing that, Excel was building this pivot table right here. Uh, it tells us that there were 202 females who got tickets, and of those 202, 89 of them had their tickets dismissed and 113 did not have their tickets dismissed. Meanwhile, there were 254 males who got tickets, and of those 254, 149 of them had their tickets dismissed and 105 of them did not have their tickets dismissed. Now it's a little bit difficult to see a pattern with just the raw numbers. What we really need here are percentages so we can compare the percentage of women and men who had their tickets dismissed. To get those percentages, click on the down arrow here in the values box and choose value field settings right there. And then uh, click on the show values as tab right there and change the show values as value to percent of column total and then click OK. And notice that when we did that Excel converted those raw numbers into percentages. Now it's easier to see the pattern. Um, of, of the females, uh, let's see, 44 percent of them had their tickets dismissed compared to 58, almost 59 percent of the males. That looks like a bias to me. It looks like males, uh, proportionally more males than females have their tickets dismissed. So it looks like, so far, there might be some truth to the rumor. But what about the second part of the rumor? The part that says that, uh, that this kind of bias is more likely to happen if you end up in front of Judge Robinson than if you end up in front of Judge Carson. We can check that out as well. 
all I have to do is grab the judge uh, variable here and dr drag it down into the report filter box. And notice when I did that, this little drop down arrow appeared at the top of the spreadsheet there in column F1. If I take my cursor and click on the down arrow and choose Carson and click OK, then Excel will show me only those ticket cases that were heard by Judge Carson. And it looks like that's not really where the problem is. In fact, if anything, there's the discrimination kind of goes the other way. Ju Judge Carson seems to be a little bit more likely to dismiss uh, tickets uh, for females than he is for males. So what happens if we look at the, the results for the other judge, for Judge Robinson? To do that, we just click on the down arrow again and choose Robinson and click OK. Now we're looking at the cases that were heard just by Judge Robinson. And sure enough, there's a pretty big bias there. Uh, it looks like Judge Robinson dismissed 68% of the tickets uh, for males compared to only 28% if you round up of the tickets for females. That's a pretty big bias. Um, and that would, be, that would be quite a story to write about there. In fact, you could write a lead something like this. Traffic Court Judge Herschel Robinson dismisses more than two-thirds of tickets issued to men, but only about a quarter of those issued to women, an analysis of court records shows.